Hi there, my name is Caitlin. I am from grassfedgirl.com and if you're not familiar with me, I make sure and watch my last video that is on this topic. Um, I have big news that I announced in that video and it is that I'm pregnant. And now I am four months pregnant, so it has been a long journey. <laughs> Uh, lots of ups and downs, but I have made it and being carnivore has helped so so much and I think That without being carnivore, I think it would have been a big mess on this and had a lot of symptoms of Hormone problems, so I think it has made me so strong and so resilient through this process and I'm so thankful that I was already carnivore for over a year before uh, I got pregnant, so it was a blessing really and um, I've been trying to get pregnant for many years now, so this is just such happy news for our family, and um, we are just thrilled and excited. So one thing about my first trimester is that we spent the last four weeks of it in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, because the weather here was so bad. So I got lots of sun, and I got to walk on the beach every day, and I got to read even a novel sitting on the beach. So it was a great way to de-stress during these hectic times and you know the coronavirus was just starting in the news so it wasn't too bad yet and um, we got home just in time before all of that hit and um, we got to get our freezer stocked up and all that stuff so um, it was a wonderful time to go to Florida in the winter and just get lots of sun and eat lots of seafood and walk on the beach and read a book it was amazing so Definitely do that during your first trimester if you have the choice. Um, we were still working. We both are virtual workers, so we were still working the whole time, just, you know, not, not stressing as much as we do at home. So that was one thing we did during the first trimester to make it a lot more fun. So some of the things that I experienced were on my first trimester, which is the first 12 weeks, some people say 13 weeks, is I was a, more tired. Uh, the first, I'd probably say six weeks, I didn't really feel anything different. Um, then I started to be more tired. I needed a nap some days, not every day, but uh, some days I needed a nap. So that was, um, wasn't bad. Uh, you just kind of have to, I do work from home, so it wasn't a big deal for me. But if I had an office job, that would probably be a problem, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so I needed a nap some days, was more tired, but it wasn't, I mean, I've, I'm a Hashimoto's person, so I know what true tiredness feels like, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was just like, oh, I could take a nap, you know, and I didn't prohibit myself from doing that. I wasn't trying to push, I really tried to reduce my stress and not worry about things because your first 12 weeks, especially when you're a little older, can be more of a risky time period. So it's really good to reduce your stress as much as possible and try not to worry about things and just try not to do too much because you've got to focus your energy on growing your baby. So that's what I was trying to do. I also had an aversion to red meat. So I've been carnivore over a year. Now it is 18, close to 18 months. So um, that has helped me so much. And I don't, I didn't have any morning sickness. I just had an aversion to beef. So um, I could eat a hamburger if somebody else made it and just handed it to me, but I couldn't, the thought of buying it and cooking it and all that was too much. So um, I did, didn't mind if I had a hamburger maybe out to eat somewhere, but I couldn't just, um, I wasn't inclined to make it myself. So what sounded better was a lot of uh, scrambled eggs, goat cheese, also chicken, I wanted chicken for some reason, which is not my favorite thing, but it sounded really good. So I ate a lot of chicken thighs, chicken wings. Um, I had to worry about my electrolytes as I always do. I have to make sure I have a lot of salt or I get headaches. So I would have to take about two or three teaspoons of salt per day in addition to salting my food or I would get a little slight headache. Um, so definitely keep your electrolytes up. And um, I was really happy, like I didn't have a lot of cravings. Now I did let myself have a little more of, I would eat Rebel ice cream sometimes, or maybe some, there's this so delicious coconut ice cream that's sugar-free. So I was still keeping it sugar-free, but I let myself, just cause my stomach was a little, just not, I just didn't feel normal. So I just 
indulged a little, let myself have those treats, and I didn't really feel bad about it. Um, but about after about 12 weeks, that completely went away, and I'm back to zero sweeteners, zero treats. Um, so about between maybe week 8 and week 12, I really kind of wanted some treats and sweet but they were always keto treats, some low carb treats. Uh, and then that went away. And then I, um, now since then, so that's been another four weeks, I have just been purely carnivore and it's just gone wonderful. I feel awesome. And um, I'm back to eating steak and I eat at least one steak a day or, or ground beef. And um, then usually for breakfast, I eat eggs. I like to eat about uh, three eggs, four eggs for breakfast, and then I do eat three meals a day. So I usually eat eggs for breakfast with some ghee and maybe some goat cheese mixed in. And then for lunch, I would have like a hamburger. And then maybe for dinner, I would have chicken or something. Um, I like to eat with my husband. So sometimes I eat seafood or chicken for dinner because that's what he likes. And then maybe for lunch, I would also eat a steak if it would, it would either be hamburger or a steak. Uh, for lunch. So that kind of gives you an idea. Usually a smaller dinner, larger lunch. Um, and you don't, you know, and on carnivore, you really don't want to eat too late because um, you don't want to go to bed with this big, um, heavy feeling. So second trimester has been super easy, but I'll save that for another video. Um, but my first trimester, so I was feeling a little more tired. Had to eat three meals a day, mostly chicken or fish or eggs but not feeling like beef. Um, I really didn't have a lot of other symptoms. Maybe I had one or two headaches and I'd just take a nap and they'd go away, but pretty good. I mean, my energy was good. I just did a lot of walking. I didn't want to do some heavy exercise because um, I was nervous about getting through the 12 weeks. So I didn't do a lot of exercise except walking. I didn't want to do like you know, a lot of crunches and things like that where you use your abdominal muscles. Um, and we, we did go for, we had a six week ultrasound and then we also had a 12 week ultrasound. And so I have, this is the six week ultrasound here. And then I will show you, I'll try to find a picture. I think I have to upload it of the 12 week ultrasound. And the 12 week it was a big difference. The baby was moving and everything. So it was really cool to see the 12 week. And so of course now things have changed and we have the coronavirus everywhere. So we're homebound. So it's kind of a stressful time to be pregnant and everything, but I do plan to go to my 20 week ultrasound, but I'll save that for another video. So right now I am 16 weeks, 17 weeks tomorrow. And uh, you know, it's just been a blessing to be pregnant and you know, <clears throat> to have gotten myself in really good health beforehand also, you know, and I've, my doctor also regulated, make sure and check my thyroid because I do have Hashimoto's and it's looking good. I haven't had um, a lot of problems with that. It's just been staying the same. Um, I did gain about five pounds so far in my first trimester and um, that's no big deal. I mean, I think you're supposed to uh, gain that, but I don't feel out of control. Like I need fried chicken or crazy cravings or anything. So I don't think I'm going to gain a bunch of weight, uh, just because I'm pretty much eating the same stuff that I was before. Um, I will show you if you want to see, I'm sure you do want to see my baby bump. Um, it's not big yet, but you can kind of see it's kind of sticking out here at the top. Um, so that's my baby bump. <laughs> But it's not too obvious yet, so um, this is a maternity shirt. I just like to wear them because, you know, why not? So we have been decorating the nursery, and um, I can show you guys that when I get it done. But we have been we have painted it and got a crib, and we got a changing table, and um, so now I'm working on the decoration. So I'll show you guys that when I get done, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's about all I have to report. It's just been so amazing. I did try for several years to get pregnant. It was quite stressful. But since I've been pregnant, it's been pretty easy and pretty fun and just enjoying the process and, you know, wanting to get through that 12-week mark where they say you're kind of 
over the hump and you know now that I'm 16 weeks 17 weeks tomorrow feeling really good and just really grateful and thankful and you know already love my little baby and my husband is super excited and we were just over the moon if you have ever experienced um, waiting to have a child it is just very very thrilling when you think it's actually coming and it just seems like a dream so we are just so excited and um, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions I'd love to hear them I'm really wanting to have kind of a minimalist you know uh, room for my baby and also a minimalist baby registry so I'll put a link to the baby registry below if you want to support my um, if you want to support me and my husband we are doing the baby registry down below if you want to um, get me a gift or something <laughs> no pressure but anyway we are I'm trying to keep it really minimal my sister has a lot of things for me because she just she had two small children and so she has a lot of things to give me so I really don't plan on buying a lot of stuff and like I said I already have a crib and a changing table and that's also a dresser so and I got a rocker so I'll show you guys that stuff if you're interested just let me know below and um, it's just been really fun process and I'm just really grateful that you know I take I've taken care of myself and done so much for my health that I think that this has been pretty seamless and um, I'm really not having the, a lot of the problems that I've heard about I never threw up I uh, just was feeling good pretty much the whole time just like I said the only thing was the beef aversion maybe a little more tired uh, a little more sugar cravings but then like I said they went away and I was doing sugar-free treats for a little bit but at 12 weeks seems like that's dissipated and now I'm back to my regular schedule of uh, three meals a day eggs steak for lunch and maybe some chicken or fish for dinner so really being carnivore has been amazing for my pregnancy and I hope that this information helps you in your journey if you're doing similar stuff as me so um, if you have any questions just leave them down below or you can email me I'll put my email down below all right guys well thanks so much for watching this and please share with a friend that might be uh, having these same issues and I hope to see you next time please subscribe and like this video bye bye Thanks for watching my video. I hope that you get a copy of my 30 day carnivore diet challenge. It is going to blow your mind. It has so much information. You're gonna love it. It has two meal plans, 26 recipes, and 182 pages jam packed with everything you'd ever wanna know about the carnivore diet. So make sure and get this and you will be pleasantly surprised and you will have such an easier time of doing the carnivore diet without falling into the pitfalls that we help you avoid. So you can get at carnivore30.info. And if you are tuning into this, make sure and sign up for our 30 day carnivore challenge. It is June 1st to July 1st. We're going to be leading a private group and coaching and it's going to be really fun. Me and my sister are going to help you get through your first 30 days of carnivore. And we're going to use this book as a guide. And then we're going to have zoom calls and um, everything you need to hold hands and get through it we will be there with you and you get private access to us uh, all day and all night so anyway um, so you can sign up for that over on my website under carnivore diet coaching so thanks so much for watching and I'll put the link below